last of the Mohicans. Just beautiful. Right. Look at that. What beautiful artwork. The following pictures have been excerpted from a story by James Finmore Cooper that took place during the French and Indian Wars. They concern a white scout called Hawkeye, a, Mo a Mohawk, Mohawkan chief called Ching Chingachgook. Chingachgook, his son, that's so done. I set this up properly. His son, Uncas, and their personal feud with the Huron Indian tribe. These six pages attempt only to give a tantalizing glimpse into that great classic the last of the mohicans okay. where are the blossoms of those summers fallen one by one so all my family departed each in his turn to the land of spirits i am on the hilltop and must go down into the valley and when uncas follows in my footsteps there will no longer will be any of the blood of the sagamores for my boy is the last of the mohicans and sagamores is mohican and Delaware's and he's telling the story to Hawkeye the chief thus spoke the words of Chingach Gok tribal chief of the Remnani Mohicans Thus listened Hawkeye, fearless scout and hunter, friend of the Sagamore. Thus answering, Onkas, son of Chinjatguk, bravest of warriors, enemies to the Makwas. Onkas is here. Makwas, Huron. Do the Makwas dare to leave the print of their moccasins in these woods? I have been on their tra uh, trail and know that they number as many as the fingers of my two hands, but they lie hid like cowards, the son replies. The thieves are out lying for lying for scalps and plunder that bushy frenchman montcalm will send his spies into our very camp and he will know that road we travel this enough they shall be driven like deer from the bushes hawkeye let us eat tonight 
and show the Makwas that we are men tomorrow, says the chieftain. I am ready to do one as the other. Talk of the devil and he will come. Here is a pair of the biggest antlers I have seen this season. Now, Uncas, I bet my uh, charger three times full of powder against the foot wampum that I take him at winks the eye, Hawkeye says. Hawkeye, will you fight the Makwas? Hawkeye replies, I must leave the buck to your arrow, Uncas, or we will kill a deer for them, thieves. The Inquas, Iroquois, to eat. Unquas Iroquois, Huron. That's what it's referring to. Oh, look at that. In another moment, the thwang of the cord was heard. A white streak was seen glancing into the bushes. The buck plunged from cover. Avoiding the horns of the infuriated animal, Uncas darted to his side and passed his knife across the throat of the bounding deer. Supper. It was done with Indian skill and it was a pretty sight to behold Hawkeye says though an arrow is a near shot and needs a knife to finish the work huh the chief's done saying be quiet Shh. by the Lord there is a drove of them if they come with in range of a bullet i will drop one though the whole six nations should be should be lurking within sound what do you hear ching chinga chikok chinga chikok for for to my ears the woods are dumb hawkeye says and the chief says put his head on the ground see if you can hear them there is but there is but one deer and he is dead I hear the sound of feet the chieftain says perhaps the wolves have driven the buck to shelter and are following on his trail Hawkeye replies no the horses of white men are coming Hawkeye they are your brothers speak to them he says that will that will i and in english that the kings need be ashamed to answer ha there goes something now i hear yes god keep them from the iroquois the hurons who comes who comes hither among the beasts and dangers of the wilderness hawkeye asks believe believers in religion and friends to the law of the king men who have journeyed since the rising sun in the shades of this forest without nourishment and are sadly tired of their wayfaring we are lost they reply couple of ladies with them with an Indian guide lost in the woods when the Sun is scorching the treetops and the water course are full when the moss on every be beach 
he sees will tell him in which quarter the north star will shine at night the woods are full of deer paths which run to the streams well known to everybody what indian is he magua a Hur huron this guy magua And he darts he's running like mad recognized by hawkeye and his two companions and sensing his plight failing he plunged at a single bound into the thick thicket the huron had escaped to try trickery some other time Though the small British party was saved from the Ma Maquas that day, they journeyed on to Fort William Henry only to find Montcalm's troops. Montcalm's troops had begun invading the place. Hawkeye, knowing the land so well, was able to lead the party through the French lines unseen. The overwhelming forces of Montcalm took the fort with an honorable surrender the maquas being cheated of their british scalps attacked the british and before the french could help the maquas had taken captive the colonel's daughter With the skill of Hawkeye, one daughter was saved, and later the Delaware uh, cousin, the Delaware, the Delaware cousins to the Mohicans, brought tri brought tribal war of Maqua and the Hurons. After a vicious fight, the Hurons were put to flight in defeat. Makwa raising a yell that spoke volumes of anger and disappointment darted away from the scene attended by his two only surviving friends Uncas who had vainly sought him in the melee bounded forward in, a pers in pursuit as if life to him possessed but a single object magua's magua's scalp hawkeye and the two british officers followed uncas hawkeye holding his fire for uncas desire for victory The Hurons leaped into a thicket and entered into the mouth of a cave that led up the mountain. For a moment, the race was believed to be lost when a white robe was seen fluttering in the dark. This Cora, 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 this the maiden, courage lady, we come, we come, Hawkeye yells. The knaves will pick us off at this distance. The knives will pick us off at this distance. Knaves, no, knaves can pick us off at this distance. 
and see they hold the maiden so as to shield themselves. At this moment, the forms of all four were strongly drawn against an opening in the sky and they disappeared. They got the girl with them. The impetus young men were rewarded in, encumbered with Korah the Hurons were losing ground in the race they're chasing us through the mountains stay dog of the wind dots a Delaware girl calls, stay. One dots, Horons again. Oh, look at that. I will go no further. Kill me if thou wilt. Detestable Hurons. I will go no further, she says. woman choose the wigman wigman or the knife or le subtle choose le subtle magus french title Mag magwas french title look at that Just then, a piercing cry was heard above them, and Uncas appeared, leaping from a f uh, fearful height. Makwa's aid she sheathed his own knife in the bosom of Cora. Oh, shite! Killed a girl. Diverted by this interruption, Magma buried his weapon in the back of the Delaware. Oh. Uncas rose from the blow as a wounded panther and struck the murderer of Cora. Then, with a stern and steady look, he turned to Magma his failing strength uh, expended. The latter seized the un, unresisting Delaware and passed his knife into his bosom many times. Keeping his gaze on of scorn, Uncas fell dead at his feet. Magua issued a cry of triumph and made a desperate leap. Falling short of his mark, though his hands grasped a shrub, all he had to do was pull up for escape. The long rifle of Hawkeye was raised, pouring out its contents, dealing death to the cunning Magua.
Thus came the burial of Uncas. Why weep that a chief has filled his time with honor? He was good. He was dutiful. He was brave. Man Manitou had need of such warrior and had called him away. I am now a blazed pine in a cle clearing of the pale faces. My race has gone. I am alone, the chieftain says. No, Sagamore, not alone. The gifts of our colors may be different, but the God placed us as to journey in the same path, Hawkeye replies. Then spoke Tamin Taminod, chief of the Delaware, to dis disperse the multitudes. It is enough. Go, children of the Leniap. Le Le Leniap, the Delaware tribe. The anger of the Manitou is not done. Why should Taminod stay? The pale faces are masters of the earth, and the time of the red man, red men, has not yet come again. My day has been too long. In the morning, I saw the sons of Unam Unames happy and strong and yet before the night has come have i lived to see the last warrior of the ra of the wise race of the mohicans